Hey guys, Benjamin Albright here for uh, Pro Football Network again. I uh, wanted to take a moment right here off the top to welcome Trey Wingo to the Pro Football Network family. Uh, I know that's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be on the Draft Insider Show with Tony Pauline and doing a lot of stuff. And uh, we wanted to welcome him. Yes, that Trey Wingo, not somebody just with the same name. That would be weird. I um, want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, news and everything that's going on around the league right now. Getting a lot of um, a lot of questions about the Bears quarterback situation, and there was some some hot rumor stuff going around the internet uh, last night about the possibility of Russell Wilson being traded to the Bears. I, I don't know if that ultimately gets done, but there's nowhere in the works right now, uh, and and nowhere close. Um, I will say that uh, you know the Bears have inquired about quarterbacks, and and my feeling as it sits is that the uh, the number one contender there would be Marcus Mariota uh, of the Raiders. Uh, but with the Seattle quarterback situation and Russell Wilson, the problem isn't uh, a desire for both parties to move on or any of that kind of stuff. The problem is what is Seattle going to get back to guarantee them a viable quarterback? And there's just not a situation right now that has that in there. So I think for me, uh, and I, I think with the Seattle and the Russ situation, unless something changes, it's going to be very difficult to see Russell Wilson, you know, go to another team unless they can provide, uh, you know, some kind of, of measure or mechanism in which the Seahawks are going to get back a top tier quarterback, whether that's via the draft, free agency, whatever, uh, get some kind of viable quarterback option back. So, and, and for Chicago fans, Mitchell Trubisky is, is not that. So, um, you know, I, if he were, you wouldn't be trying to trade for Russell Wilson. Um, you know, some other things, the Chiefs let go of their offensive tackles. Uh, I think Mitchell Schwartz might retire. There's definitely some, uh, there are definitely some other things going on uh, uh, there with bringing Lucas Niang off the opt-out list and all that kind of stuff. But um, we'll get into that more next time. Uh, you guys, questions and everything else at, uh, at PFN365. And uh, appreciate you guys tuning in.